So apparently there's a brand new short film releasing relatively soon called The Hatchelin. Now, I don't really know too much about this, but some people thought it was within the Jurassic universe for some reason. I believe there was some tease on a poster where you could see the Department of Fish and Wildlife. And for some reason, it had Pteranodons and I think Parasaurolophus silhouettes on that logo. So, yeah. But basically, what we're going to say now is that they are not the same universe. The Hatchelin and Jurassic are completely different. We can confirm that right now. Um, but they've released a teaser trailer of what to expect, and I believe it's releasing October 17th, so not too far away now. Um, my only question is, where is it going to be releasing? I'm on the official website here, and it seems like they have Twitter, they have threads, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, but no YouTube. So, I'm not too sure where this short film is releasing. I do hope it will be on YouTube or maybe even on their own website so it's accessible for pretty much anyone across the world. Um, I'm not too sure how long this short film is going to be because, as you guys know, short films can vary between... I think the minimum to be cast as a short film is five minutes. A short mini-movie is two minutes. Uh, and a short film can literally go up to 45 minutes or maybe even 50 minutes. So yeah, <laughs> this could be 5 minutes long, this could be 45 minutes long, who knows. At the end of the day, it's more dinosaur content. So what we're going to be doing today is practically checking out the teaser trailer and uh, seeing what it's like and maybe do like a little breakdown. Not too long of a video, but something that I thought might be a little bit of fun. Uh, especially considering that the full short film will be releasing soon and maybe I could put my first reactions there. So yeah, this is the teaser trailer on Twitter. We have liked it and uh, I haven't retweeted it just yet, but we're going to go ahead and react to it. We haven't seen it just yet, uh, but it really looks like it's a Dinochirus. So let's check it out. What was that? The Hatchlin. October 17th. Yeah, October 17th. Okay. So that was a very very short teaser. Yeah, that's 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 for true. <laughs> um yeah, an all new adventure. I don't really know what they mean by that because typically when you put a tagline like that, it means that something is carrying over from something, if that makes sense, within the same franchise or universe, whatever. Um so I'm not too sure what they mean by that. Maybe the Hatchlin is creating their own universe. That would be quite cool, actually. Another dinosaur universe. Um, it seems like at the start we get a baby Dino Kairos right here, which seems to be stealing socks. Which, if you guys ever had the question to, where did my other sock go? That one. That Dino Kairos stole it. I promise you that. But the scene I'm actually more intrigued about is that, yes, we're in the open, open world here. I think, I'm not too sure, I think that's the logo of the Department of Fish and Wildlife, maybe? Um, which obviously we've seen in Jurassic World Dominion, but it is a real life company, so they're free to use in other shows like this. Um, I'm not too sure who this guy is. We will probably find that out. Um, maybe hunting down the Dino Kairoses. Um, but that's what I wanted to see in the window. Oh, okay. See, that just looks like human legs to me. But at the same time, I thought it was some like alien. Like I thought that was the head, this was the chest, and that was the arm. But no, it actually seems like it's a dinosaur of some kind. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's too large to be anything else. I, I think maybe it is a Dino Kairos. Because what I assume here is happening is that the baby Dino Kairos was found in here. Now it's in here somewhere, um, doing calls because of her expression. She's telling the little baby thing to be quiet. And then we have the adult uh, Dino Kairos walking past because it's heard the calls, calls and cries. Um, I believe that's also a Dino Kairos over there. I can't really zoom in because unfortunately that this is Twitter, so I can't really zoom in. Um, <laughs> but it seems like they are researching some Dino Kairos. They kind of know a little bit about dinosaurs from what I can see on here. And uh, we've got a similar map to what we see in Jurassic World Dominion's uh, Alan Grant's tent. After this, it seems like this guy is inevitably going to be the bad guy trying to kill this Dino Kairos. When all the Dino Kairos wants is to basically find her youngling. And that's practically it. So an all new story is about to begin, which is quite cool. Not Again, I'm not too sure what length this is going to be. Uh, what's the number plate on this? I can't really make out the number plate. Typically, number plates have uh, references and details, which are quite cool. Um, I can't really see what's in the back. It looks like maybe some sort of feathered creature here. Um, we'll have to wait and see. This is the main cast right here. So it seems like these guys are going to come face to face with Dinochirus. Uh, as we can see in the next clip, an adult Dinochirus. Doesn't that look beautiful? <laughs> Dinochirus is actually appearing much more frequently now because we've seen it in Prehistoric Kingdom. Uh, I believe we see it now in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Now we're going to see it in the Hatchlin. It's it's appearing everywhere. It's pretty cool. And um, yeah, I, I think it deserves it. I really do. It was also in Prehistoric Planet as well, which was awesome. 
But yeah, it seems like something has happened here because as we can see with this dude, uh, he has the backpack on. But in the next scene, when the Dinochirus comes face to face with him, the backpack is gone. So I assume that something has happened within this time frame. Maybe the baby Dinochirus was in that bag. And what they're doing right now is trying to get the baby Dinochirus out. And the adult Dinochirus is checking out the baby being released. I don't think it's going to cause any harm. Um, but, you know, it's just dinosaurs being dinosaurs, which is what we want to see in our everyday world as well. So, yeah. But, yeah, that actually wraps up my review of the all new adventure, the Hatchling. Um, if you want to see my live reaction and maybe even a breakdown for it, then let me know in the comments. It'll be quite cool because um, I am intrigued by it. It does look quite cool. It seems like an indie project, uh, but it, a high budget indie project, let's say. So I'm all for it. I'm all for it. More dinosaur content at the end of the day. Exactly what we need, especially when Jurassic is very, uh, let's, let's say, lackluster in 2023.